Hello guys, I am Ritesh Gua and welcome to another episode of Designing with Ritesh Gua. Let's dive. We are very fond of this word designing, but from where did this word actually came from? What is its actual meaning? We will discuss it in today's episode. Before we start the discussion, make sure that you subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get all notification about my new video upload. Don't forget to like my video and encourage me in making new and exciting videos for you. Please don't skip the video and watch it till the end as you will be asked a simple question at the end of the video on which you can write your opinion in the comment section. The word design creates a distinctive impact on our mind. Every product we use nowadays has its own unique design. It can be electronic gadgets, food, accessories, clothing or garments. Based on the product, designing can be classified as interior designing, graphic designing, textile designing, etc. etc. Now a question comes in our mind that what is this word design? A design is a concept or an idea. An idea cannot be seen till we portray it or illustrate it. This form of presentation of an idea is called the design. In other words, the structural representation of an idea or a concept is called design. What if I say a design is a solution to a problem? How do we explain this? Think carefully. Every design we are using in our daily life is somewhat a solution to the problem which we are facing in our daily lives. Let's take an example of a revolving chair. When we are using a normal wooden chair, we are facing problems to turn around, to move from one place to another, to lean back easily or to sit comfortably. Whereas if we design a revolving chair, these problems will be solved. Thus, the designing of the revolving chair is a solution to the problems which we are facing. A design can be aesthetic or functional depending on its reason of creation. An aesthetic design is basically to bring satisfaction and comfort through its decoration. It has no functional value. On the other hand, some designs are very functional and they have an effective value for its creation. These type of designs are called functional designs. But in both the cases, the product is very innovative and very unique. We cannot term a design to be beautiful or ugly. This is because every design should be placed in a proper pattern or a series. If the series is not properly maintained, then the design can look odd, but we cannot term it as ugly. What we can do is to put it somewhere else where it matches the series. The next thing which is important is the design process. In simple words, a process can be explained as a series of events to bring out a perfect result. The process is very important in a creation of a new design. For example, if we are making a cake, we need to add proper ingredients like eggs, baking powder, essence, etc, etc to make it a proper result. But if we add or subtract some ingredients from this list, we need to balance the other ingredients so that the proportion is maintained and the final result is perfect. For example, if we are adding cocoa powder more than the required quantity, then we must also add the sugar to balance the bitterness which is created by the cocoa powder. Also, if we are making eggless cake, then we should not add egg, but we must use the other ingredients in proper quantity so that it can balance the other ones. This means the design process is very flexible and it is dependent on the final product. So whatever may be the reason of creation, a design is always creative, innovative and unique. The more they are unique, the more they fit into a series, 
and the more you can call them beautiful so guys let's jump into the world of the design let's create something unique and make the world b e a beautiful i would like you to put your opinion in the comment section about what you want to design and why so that was a short intro about design and design process please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get the notification as soon i upload a new video don't forget to like my video and share it with your friends to encourage me for making new and exciting videos for you thank you very much